Hello there, Earthlings. I've got a video for you today. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that. Maybe because I'm recording this on April 1st, so that you won't get it for quite some time. Anyway, I've got a short video for you YouTubers. Um, <clears throat> so now keep in mind, I am not a doctor, I'm not a physical therapist, anything like that. I'm gonna pause one second. And I'm back. Um, okay, so again, not a doctor, not a physical therapist. Uh, this is just based on my experience. May not work for you. May, might even be harmful to try, I don't know. Um, so be sure to consult with a professional or something like that before you try any of these things. Anyway, I've been dealing with um, right shoulder, shoulder impingement for quite some time, um, last year in, at the end of May or beginning of June and, and yeah, end of May, beginning of June, it happened and it was pretty painful for a while. And then it sort of, um, went away and then it came back and then it went away and then it came back. Um, but I found some things that I, that I'm now doing every day that are keeping it at bay um so one of them is uh, a shoulder stretch and it's very sim similar to um a yoga stretch that you may have seen or done if you've sort of done the yoga thing before and it basically so the yoga stretch you would probably do on the floor in like a after lizard position or something like that but it basically it's going to look like this and you're going to hold this for about I mean, 15, 20, 25 seconds. And um, it's not going to completely fix the problem, but it's going to take away a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the pain. And um, basically, if you, well, it's not going to fix the problem right away. If you keep doing this and if you do other like physical therapy things, then you may actually end up uh, being able to rectify the problem. So that's sort of what that looks like. Um, you just, you want to do it until you feel a stretch basically in the back, right in the back here, because that's kind of where the impingement happens. Okay. So another one, another thing you can do is sort of massage. There's just really like dig in there and massage that area and do it. I mean, honestly, you can't really do it too much. Just do it as long as your fingers will hold out. Um, if you can do it like 30 seconds, great. If you can do it two minutes, even better. Um, but that's going to help a lot as well. Um, then there's, of course, this kind of, this is kind of just a general shoulder thing to do. You can do it with a little bit of weight. Um, you can also do it with like, um, um, what do you call them? They're like uh, workout bands, like um, not, not elastics, I, I can't. Exercise bands, I guess you call them. Um, and between the three of them, there's actually one more that I used to do, but I can't remember it right now. But between the three of them, the pain gone almost completely and it stays that way um at least it has for me um for quite a while now so i just i continue i mainly do the the stretch i do it for i'd say between 20 and 30 seconds i tried to do it four times a day and that's been helping a ton and now again i'm not a doctor i'm not a physical therapist but i will say um i got pretty much all of this info from some great physical therapists that are on right on YouTube, Bob and Brad, you should look them up. Bob and Brad, they claim they're the, the best physical therapists on the internet, according to them, but they're really good. They've got a lot of helpful videos. You can also use some like anti-inflammatories to take away some of the pain, but be sure to check it for other medications you're on. Anyway, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay safe out there and check me out on Patreon.